Uh, let's take a live look now at the city of Tacoma. We have seen a lot of beautiful Mount Rainier in recent days, but of course that could change with the return of clouds and rain this week. And it's supposed to warm up slightly. It's a relative term. Let's get over to Adam Claymont with all those details. <laughs> It'll feel much different. That's the thing. So we'll go from those 30s and low 40s back to near 50 degrees. And the sun today definitely helped out too. You can see some of the clear skies that we have right here looking at our satellite imagery. And just before the sunset, you can see those areas of clear skies right along the west coast. A lot more of it down into parts such as Nevada. We're getting into more of Utah and Arizona. And even seeing that here across parts of western Washington up into the Cascades a paradise right now. You can see the clear skies that we have here uh, does allow for things to cool down quite a bit during the nighttime hours, but it gives us those nice afternoons. So looking at the 24 hour temperature change, we warmed up today by quite a bit 5 to 10 degrees for a lot of our locations, less of a difference farther south around Olympia and Chehalis. So where are we right now? We're in the mid 40s at 46. Those winds and they are currently calm and should remain relatively light as we go throughout a lot of the night. Current temperatures sitting at 44 in Everett, 44 in Tacoma. We're back down in the 30s already in Chehalis as things are cooling down quickly. Didn't warm up much at all up around Bellingham as we had a lot more of the clouds in place. So we held on to the low 40s and right now we're back in the upper 30s. Saw some 50s too. Hope we were one of those spots. We're back down now to 47. Looking at the satellite radar, you can, you can see that it is showing a few light sprinkles up this way closer to the Canadian border. If we do see anything up here near Blaine, maybe Linden, a few sprinkles up towards those parts, uh, getting down towards Bellingham and point southward, just more clouds and then we get farther south of that and that's where we have more of the clear skies in place. So we'll have this area of low pressure starting to work its way in here and you can see all the clouds that are off to the west. Well, that's going to head our way and more active weather is going to be back in our forecast. It looks like starting up more so tomorrow night, but better chances on into Friday. For tonight, things are partly cloudy to mostly cloudy. We'll have some of those clouds thicken up for a short while, but I think we still get a good amount of sunshine on into Thursday. We'll go into the day there, see the rain remaining off of the coast by 5 p.m. We'll start to see some of those approach the area here across the Olympic Peninsula, and that's where it'll hit. Looks like that will go northward into Vancouver Island, and we'll be done for Thursday night. Then here we go into Friday, and it looks like more through Friday morning and into the afternoon hours. That goes from west to east, and that will start up a few waves of showers hours starting to work their way through the area with some possible areas of snow too heading up into the Cascades as we're going to see those areas of or those uh, snow levels start to come back down from about 6,000 feet tomorrow down to around 4,500 feet heading on into tomorrow Friday and then seeing those lower even more as we go on into this upcoming weekend. Rain amounts not expecting anything really through 8 p.m. tomorrow, but once we get into uh, the hours of Friday morning and into early Friday afternoon, then we'll start to see that pick up around areas for the coast. Overall, I'm thinking a tenth to maybe a half an inch through Friday night, heading into early Saturday. Still more to come as we go throughout Saturday, and you can see the chances they just stick around with us just won't be quite as widespread. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with highs sticking right around that 50 degree mark.